Morning folks. Uh, I don't know what time it is. My phone is dead, so I haven't looked at the clock. Last night, I slept on the tarp here. It got really wet. I guess my body heat caused the condensation to come up through it and get dirt all over it. That's Melody's leg. She's over there in the truck. She slept in her hammock last night. Honestly, I would have slept in my hammock too, but in order to do that comfortably, I got to blow up my sleeping pad. And I didn't really want to do that, but I ended up doing it anyway, and I still slept on the tarp. But it's a beautiful morning here at Mule Shoe Bend Park. Probably not going to stay here though. I think we're going to go over to Krause Springs and do some swimming today. Assuming that our coffee doesn't suck. But I'm not 100% certain that that's not going to be the case because it's great value classic roast. And this stuff has not proven itself, but it's better than nothing. This is our adventure seeker mug. We received this from William Martin. Thanks brother. You get the State Parker's Cup, I'll take the Adventure Seeker mug. Cheers. Cheers. I don't think she's ready to get up yet. I think we may have got her up a little earlier than she wanted to. She looks pretty tired. But that's okay. She'll liven up. She's already starting to call out the birds that she hears. That's the dove. That's the woodpecker. Cardinal. Some about woodpeckers, doves, and cardinals. I did see three cardinals, red ones, go flying by without their girlfriends. Haven't seen that before. That's kind of strange. This is a really nice place to come if you want to see wildflowers. There's the moon. It is way too early for the moon to be up. So what you're saying is, this is a yucca plant? Yes. And the blooms at the top here are actually gonna bloom out to be beautiful white flowers. Thank you, Mel Nye the Science Lady. I love plants. Ah, yes. The beloved pencil cactus. More like the hated pencil cactus. <laughs> Not a fan. AKA Medusa. Just pray you're never getting chased through a field in Texas. Cause if you are, you're gonna run into that stuff and you'd probably rather just get eaten. Next time you're in the mood for a boomerang, I would suggest not buying one of these because you're gonna end up doing a lot more running than you planned on. We're completely covered in sweat. You see my shirt? See my shirt? Covered in sweat. Yeah. Terrible boomerang, wonderful exercise. Point well made. Oh, as much as we would like to stay here and enjoy this area all day long, we're gonna go get some food. And no fancy driving away footage either. We're sweating, we're hot, we're hungry. Let's just get it done. We're gonna try to eat at a place called, what was it called? Poppy's Poppers. The picture on Google showed a cheeseburger. Well, we were gonna try Poppy's Poppers. But I guess they popped out of business. Either that or they just don't exist and Google's a freaking liar. But we're gonna go to Opie's instead. Wasn't really in the mood for barbecue, as I'm never in the mood for barbecue, but I'm sure once it hits my stomach, I'll be happy. When I think of prison food, I'll always associate it with Opie's barbecue. That's what I think they're serving them guys in prison. <laughs> that food was absolutely awful. It tore our stomachs to pieces. <laughs> Yes, and we had an entire day planned. Seriously, swimming, filming, laughter, fun in the sun. So we just called it. We went home. But not before stopping at Pacepin Park to see if there was any hope of salvaging the rest of this day. That's a nice little scorpion right there you found. Yeah, he's not on a keychain or in a paperweight. He's, no, he's real. He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spiders don't bother me one bit. Scorpions are sent here straight from the bowels of hell so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say let's just leave the booths but do you know what size they are I'm gonna put them in the back of the truck they look like they might fit me and at one point we had decided to set up camp here on this beautiful bluff and enjoy the view of Lake Travis we flew the drone around checked out the locals even relaxed and listened to the soothing breeze but no matter what we tried to do 
we just could not shake the nauseating feelings we were having for lunch earlier in the day. Over the next few days, we pretty much hung out at home, went to work, played some video games. All those things are a part of our daily lives, but we both felt the same nagging urge to escape it all. That sensation was just enough to fuel the jet, so we charted a course for another adventure. The best way to get to Spyglass Drive by car is via Southwest Parkway, and will take about 24 minutes in light traffic. And now we're hiking. This little area that we're on is actually a detour from the original entrance to this trail mm -hmm. off of Spyglass. You can hear I'm working pretty hard back there to build the new trailhead. Didn't film that on the way in. I was fidgeting with my memory. Trust me, it looks better. Now, we're going to move on and see if we can get downtown. You seriously just found that on the trail? It's a lucky seven. I'm sorry, folks, but we keep the money we find on the trails. Let's Thanks. go spend it all in one place. All right. <laughs> If you want to see more on this trail from our perspective, go back and look at our Violet Crown Trail video. One thing I do enjoy about our hikes through Austin is we get to start it out with a little bit of nature before we get into the urban area. Really cool. It's hot out here. We're gonna take a break for a second. Nature's really kicking out here today on a Tuesday. Yeah, it is. Got some really cool shots of all kinds of different animals. It's hot out here, but we're gonna keep it moving. Mm hmm It would actually be a perfect day for a dip in Barton Springs, but we got miles to cover. If we did that, we'd be out here all day, baking in the sun for no reason. Mm -hmm. Just swimming around in cold, beautiful, refreshing, clean, wonderful springs. Mm. According to the sign at Zilker Park, that's a film set. Mm-hmm, that's pretty cool. I don't know what they're filming back there, but I do know that last week, uh, McKinney Falls State Park, part of that place was closed down for Fear the Walking Dead that's taking place here in Austin. That may or may not be what that is over there. It looks like they got cameras pointed down at the water. I'm wondering if they're shooting a scene where somebody either goes in or comes crawling out. Hey Steve, how you been? Quite a few people out here today. Right now we're on the relatively new boardwalk that they built that kind of goes all the way down across Riverside. Lo and behold, it's led us to a Joe's Crab Shack. Icy cold beverage? Well, yes please. I second that.
More importantly, we've got garlicky mussels. I've never had one. Minor Cholula style. Cheers to that. And mozzarella sticks, because we get those everywhere we go. We're cheesy like that. Where's the corn? <laughs> but we weren't planning on eating there. We were just going to have an icy beverage. But when I saw that there was garlicky mussels on the menu, I decided to go ahead and try them. And I think they were good. But don't take our word for it. We're not food critics. I pretty much, up until about four months ago, hated everything. <laughs> True. But if you are uh, in a pinch... And you find yourself on the Town Lake Boardwalk, there's only one option. Keep going. <laughs> sure if that's a community garden or if that guy is just OCD about weeds. <laughs> Either way we thought it was a cool place to take a picture of because it seemed like there was no point for it to be there but then he came out of a hole in the wall and came down the stairs. Very strange. <sighs> we are actually considering the bike rental for later maybe. No promises. Best dressed man in town right there. Always St. Patrick's Day in his world. It just looks cool. When you do these city hikes like we're doing now, sometimes we have a tendency to forget access to bathrooms isn't the easiest, not without being a paying customer somewhere. All right, 7-Eleven to the rescue. We're at about the 7.7 .7 mile mark. Sun's gonna go down in about an hour. I got sunburned today. All right, we're all peed up. Pe peed out? Peed out. Pe peed out, we're peed out. <laughs> and now we're coming up on the Capitol, and I don't know, we might take a few pictures here. They're belly dancing. It's really interesting. There's like this old leather office. <laughs> it's crazy. I wonder how much scotch is ingested in that room. One last look at the Capitol before we go ahead to a balcony, probably on 6th Street. We have to plug in our devices, man. Our phones are dying, our camera batteries are going real quick these days. We're on mile 8.3 right now, and I'm gonna guess that we're probably gonna reach, I'm saying 15 miles today. I feel like we're gonna be more like 16. There's a big party going on back there. David Crosby. All right.
That's it? Alright. That was just for you. Well, what's your buddy's name here? So my name's Maximilian, as in a million dollars, the legendary. Legendary as in legend. You know, he knows what legend. Just let me finish. Let me finish. Well, I'd just like to give a huge shout out to State Parkers. It's a YouTube channel and it's run by the Parkers. So if you really want to know what's going on in America, check into the amazing YouTube channel, State Parkers. Thank you. Good luck with everything you do, brother. Thank you, man. It's a smart dude. Love He's you. enjoying himself and, here in and, Austin, and, Texas. And, your sister, and, you. and it's like a partnership because she closes the deal and you boom boom. That's right. <laughs> All right, enough fool. Right, I haven't man. got the dummy. All right, man. I Have a good you, night. Brother. It was a pleasure. It was nice to meet you, man. It was a pleasure, you two. This was probably one of the best decisions we could have made. This is going to cut our hike time down. Biking it through Austin, Texas. Late at night, pretty cool. I can't believe it, we're on bicycles. Woo! <laughs> we're on bicycles. We never do this. That little carriage there, it's not big enough to hold my camera. No, I could really use a GoPro for this, but how much money do we really want to spend? Go. All right, we're going. Okay, that looks like a bicycle drop off. It almost looks full. It is full. We're gonna drop them in our truck, drive them back to a bicycle drop off. It's been a long day here in Austin, Texas. I had to step off my bike at the top of this hill. Melody's on her way up. She hopped off and walked it like a smart person. Bicycles are fun, but they're not easier than walking. They're harder sometimes. Nice work. Where'd it go? <laughs> a little wiped out there, are you? Yeah, a little Woo! bit. That's a nice bike you got. We're officially finished. We're gonna go home now and we're gonna sleep. We have a lot coming out in the future, so stay tuned. State Parkers is tired. We go home now. We go to bed now. We love you. Bye. Yeah, and no fancy driving off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And no fancy drive away footage either. I'm sweating. We're. <laughs> <laughs>